In this video, we will show you how to replace your rear inner brake hose on this Acura MDX. This will be located inside of your rear wheel well. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. The first thing we have to do is safely raise and support the rear of the vehicle so the wheel's off the ground. Once you've completed that, we're going to remove the wheel by removing all five of our 22 millimeter lug nuts and then we can get this off of here. Now that we have the wheel out of the way, let's pay a close attention to the caliper. On the caliper, you're going to have to have a bleeder screw and we need to open the bleeder screw ensuring it functions properly before you start removing your brake flex hose. Typically on your bleeder screw, you're going to find a small bleeder cover. This is just a protective cover. You wanna go ahead and give it a quick squeeze, make sure it's soft and pliable. If yours is missing, you should replace it with a brand new one. Continuing on from there, we have a 10 millimeter headed bleeder screw. Let's make sure we have a collection receptacle under this area. Turn this counterclockwise. Now we're waiting to see a steady trickle of fluid coming out of this. This tells me that we don't have an issue with the caliper bleeder screw. Now at this point, let's make our way up inside the passenger compartment. We have to hold the brake pedal all the way to the floor and we'll hold it there with a pry bar up against the seat. Now that we have applied pressure on that brake pedal, we're holding it there. We can go ahead and close up this bleeder screw. We're just going to temporarily close it, so just a light amount of pressure. Now that we have the wheel out of the way, we have a clear view of our inside flex hose. To start removing this, the first thing that I always like to do is spray the brake line that leads into it. We're going to let that penetrant do its job. We'll follow the brake hose all the way down to its next mounting point. Down in this area, I've already sprayed this with some penetrant as well. We'll be using a 10 millimeter to loosen up the brake line fitting. Make sure you have your collection receptacle under this area. So I'd try to get my wrench on there. With it broken free, I can just use an open end wrench now. A quick inspection of the fitting and the tip of the line. If anything looks like it's rotted and damaged, you definitely want to go ahead and replace it. This one looks fine, so let's continue on to removing the flex hose from the mounting bracket. Now to remove the flex hose from the bracket, you're going to find that it has a small metal clip. We have to take hold of this and slide it out of place. A quick inspection and set it aside. Typically for this, you can either pry it out of place or use some pliers. Just going to use a trim tool to get it started. Grab onto it with some pliers to remove it. There's that. Just a quick inspection, of course. Set that aside. Take hold of the flex hose, give it a wiggle, and slide it out of the bracket. A quick inspection of your mounting bracket. And now let's follow the flex hose up to its next mounting point. Up in this area, we'll be using our 10 millimeter again for our brake line fitting. Once you have the line removed, a quick inspection. We'll set that aside temporarily. Continuing on, we'll remove the flex hose from the bracket. You know exactly what to do. Go ahead and take hold of that clip. We'll pull it out of place, a quick inspection because we are reusing it. After that, remove the flex hose from the vehicle. Let's give this a wiggle, slide it down and out of here. There it is, friend. Just clean and inspect the bracket here. Doesn't look like it's rotted. Now it's time to install our brand new inner hose. When we go to install this, we'll be paying attention to the base. You can tell that there's a flat area here. 
We want to make sure that we have that aligned with the flat area that's on the bracket. It's essentially facing straight out towards us. Now, before you go ahead and put in your locking clip, you want to make sure you start in that brake line. It's easiest to do when you can still move the flex hose around as needed. Typically, you want to start these in by hand. If your fitting is stuck on the line or it does not spin freely, go ahead and use a wrench. Just be careful not to cross thread it into the wrong position. Once you do have that started in, now it's time to align that mounting point and we'll install our locking clip. When installing the clip, you want to make sure you have that tab facing upward so it's easy to remove. We'll align it with the groove on the flex hose and tap it into place. Take hold of the flex hose, ensure it's properly secured to the bracket. This cannot move around, you don't want it getting damaged. Once you have it locked into place, continue tightening your fitting. We'll bottom it out and then take it just a tiny bit further to ensure it's properly seated. Right there is bottomed out. Take hold of the line, give it a wiggle, make sure it's properly seated, and now we can continue following that flex hose to the next mounting point. Now down in this area, we still have that flat notch on the flex hose itself, and if you were to look at the bracket, it also has the notch. That notch is facing outward just like before. Okay, I can feel that that's started in. Let's get that locking clip in there. Once again, when installing the locking clip, we want to have that facing out and away from the bracket. You can spin this flex hose as necessary. Double check, make sure that's seated. Finish tightening your line. Okay, right there is bottomed out. Just take this a tiny bit further. At this point, you want to make sure you clean up the mess on each side of your brake line. After that, we're going to bleed the brakes and confirm we have no leak. Before we can bleed the brake, we want to remove our pry bar from that brake pedal. And also, we're going to make our way under the hood to the master cylinder. We'll take hold of the cap, turn it counterclockwise, remove it a quick inspection here, and we're just going to set it right on the top of the master cylinder, making sure it's not completely sealed, but we do want to make sure nothing can fall inside the braking system. Let's start gravity bleeding the system now. We're back at the caliper bleeder screw. We have our collection receptacle under here. We're going to open up the bleeder screw and allow fluid to start making its way out. Typically, you're going to see a whole bunch of air bubbles making their way out at the same time at first because we did replace that brake hose. Once you see a steady stream of fluid, we'll go ahead and close this bleeder screw and we'll have to continue on with a manual brake bleed. And my 10 millimeter. Okay, at this point, we have a steady trickle of fluid coming out of here. Let's go ahead and close this down and complete a manual brake bleed. With that said, we'll be starting at the master cylinder here. We need to remove as much of the fluid from in here as possible, replace it with brand new DAW 3, and then we'll start bleeding the brakes. Continuing from here, we're going to remove the screen from inside of the master cylinder. Once we have that pulled up and out, we can start removing the fluid. Now, when removing the screen, I'm going to use a small pick. We don't want to cause any damage, but when we pull it out, we need to ensure that the brake fluid does not make its way onto anything inside the engine compartment, especially the paint on your vehicle. Just pull this up and out of here. 
Drain out as much of that fluid as possible that's in there. Just a quick inspection of the screen and we'll set that aside temporarily. Now I'm going to use my fluid extractor to remove the fluid. Try to get in there as far as possible. Before adding our fluid, let's reinstall our screen in the area. Just press that right down into position. We've got our brand new DOT3 brake fluid here. We'll top this off. We'll reinstall the cover here. Turn that clockwise. Let's make our way to the passenger side rear. Now we can start bleeding the brakes. We need to make sure we have our collection receptacle handy, and this is going to be easiest with a second person. What we need to do is have the second person inside of the vehicle go ahead and pump up the brake pedal till it's nice and firm. Once it's firm, they're going to let me know they're holding it. I'm going to open up the bleeder screw and we'll be paying attention to the fluid making its way out. We want to see only clean brake fluid making its way out, no dirty fluid, and definitely no air bubbles throughout this process. You may have to repeat the process several times. Go ahead and pump up the brake pedal, please. Holding. Got our wrench on here. See a little bit of air making its way out of there. Go ahead and pump, please. Go ahead and pump. One more time. You can release the brake pedal, thank you. Let's remove this. Clean our mess, reinstall your bleeder screw cover. Let's make our way back up under the hood. We're going to double check that master cylinder. As you can tell, after bleeding the brake, it is low. Top it off with our dot three. Once you're sure it's full up to the maximum, go ahead and reinstall your cover. Double check, make sure it's secure, clean up your mass. One last quick inspection in this area and we can reinstall our wheel. Start on all five of your 22 millimeter lug nuts. We'll bottom them out. Get the wheel safely back down on the ground and torque each of these to 94 foot pounds. We've got the wheel back on the ground. We'll torque these in a crisscross manner. Okay friend, we finished the installation of our brake hose. At this point, you want to go ahead and make sure you pump up the brake pedal till it's nice and firm, and then take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.